people sometimes concepts colors shapes and forms it could be a mood it could be inspired by a mood or a song uh, basically anything but we have the same inspiration that we've been working with uh, which created our identity and it's been inspired by the Fatimid dynasty old Cairo and the Pro the best thing about it is that we always take this source of inspiration and we try to mix it with new cultures and new parts of Egypt or new parts of cultures from around the world, mixing it with history, yet giving it a modern twist. Yeah. Uh, this piece that we're working with, Tajima, uh, basically the craft behind it is the, the, the motif, the um, ongoing motif that we use and leather with a lot of other hand uh, artisan work with the uh, high-tech technology of embroidery. We're known to mix uh, brass metal with leather and uh, Old Cairo has the best uh, artisans that, ha that deal with brass and metal work but the thing is that sometimes if you want to produce something with very good quality you have to mix between the handmade part of it with the machine part to give it a balance because sometimes if it's 100% handmade it's it's never perfect to the eye or not even perfect but close enough to being good for, for someone. The, the technique that inspired us the most was the Coiling. Coiling. Yeah. We loved the, uh, when we saw the rope or the thread, the thick thread and how it was coiled. Uh, we really liked it and we wanted to incorporate it in our design. We also liked the, the, the different textures of different threads used, mm -hmm. uh, whether it was very thin to get the details of the design or very thick to fill out a, a specific part. We always believe that uh, God is in the, de in the details and uh, our designs are always very detailed. So to work with, uh, with Tajima and the, the machinery was, was a great opportunity yeah. for us to mix uh, between embroidery and uh, our motifs. Basically got a crash course from Tajima. Uh, we uh, understood the know-how between designing something and then turning it into uh, the technicalities behind it, turning what you designed into um, real life. Um, it was a crash course on different types of uh, embroidery techniques, different types of uh, threads, and it's very inspiring. It really helped build our AW19 collection. Yeah, our entire collection was based on uh, the inspiration we got uh, in Marseille from the different techniques and the machinery and uh, the examples we saw, so it was amazing. We, we learned a lot. We, uh, first of all, it was very interesting to see the history of the embroidery machines and how advanced they're becoming. Uh, second of all, the different techniques, the 3D, the flat surfaces, it was very interesting. And I think the most interesting part was to see um, the puncher, as they call it, take the design and turn it into a um, practical uh, um, job for the machines to, uh, to implement. Our future projects um, were, were about to release a, a belt collection. And today I got really inspired that uh, I, I'm really thinking of in integrating embroidery uh, with the belt, so that would be a very cool and new technique to, yeah. to figure out.